Welcome to Nathan's Armory. I'm Nathan. So uh, I'm going to call this video something like uh, Suicide Bombers Ushered In by Gun Control. And what I mean by that is in my heart of hearts I believe that two things are going to happen in my lifetime. One is that gun control is going to occur, that the politically correct society that we live in will not stop until they disarm the populace because uh, they truly believe that it is going to help them. And uh, it's a noble cause, but it's because there's not much understanding uh, among the sheeple in our society. Uh, gun control is not advocated by the military, it's not advocated by law enforcement, it's advocated by politicians who are representing people who have no understanding of actual combat or the need for firearms for defense. So, um, I think that whenever gun control does occur, and people are not able to go out and purchase guns any longer, that uh, the crazy people who are doing the mass shootings are going to resort to becoming suicide bombers. And you might say, Nathan, how do you know this? How can you even think that? That is, that is crazy. Where does this crazy idea you've come up with enter your mind? And I'm going to tell you that I have a time machine. And my time machine is called a history book. And in the history books that I've read and learned about, which not many people study, I'm a little bit of an a anthropologist of uh, violence in America. I like to learn what's gone on in America and how it happened and such, everything from cowboy days to present. And uh, through my studies, I found out that the largest mass murderers have not occurred with firearms in the U.S. They've always occurred with explosions and fire. So, um, let's uh, look at a little bit of this. Uh, Oklahoma City bombing. That happened when I was in high school. I think I was a senior. Uh, 168 killed. That was a rider truck full of fertilizer. Uh, oh, the, the record for the most deaths in a school. That was done in the 1927 by the Bath School. Uh, the head of the um, uh, school board loaded dynamite into the bottom of the basement of the school. Killed 44 students, wounded 58 others. Or, I'm sorry, 44 dead. Uh, some of them were first responders that died. He blew up his own car with dynamite in it while they were uh, first responders were coming. Uh, let's see here. 1944, Hartford Circus Fire, 167 uh, dead, uh, like 500 uh, injured. Uh, let's see. There was a school fire in 58 in Illinois. It was like the city of the, the School of Angels or something. 95 died in that fire. Uh, 1990, Happy Land Fire, 87 died in that. Uh, through the 50s, through the 80s, there were four airplane crashes, averaging about 45 to 40 people per airplane crash. So again, uh, this is a scenario where uh, people have gotten much higher body counts through the use of fire and explosives throughout the history of the United States. And nobody wants to look at that right now. They only want to look at guns because that's what the news media wants you to look at. Uh, this is something a friend of mine always says. He says, uh, evil people will find, well, sorry, let me start that over. Evil people will always find ways to do evil things. As a human being, we think we have the internet now to search on. We can look things up. Evil people are going to find a way to do evil things no matter what tools we try to take away from them they're going to discover a way to do the bad things they want to do. Only thing that can defend us against them is the diligence of good men willing to fight against them. All right. Um, and let's see. Ah, so the Dark Knight shooting. Dark Knight shooting was in Aurora, Colorado. And uh, the guy went in and he killed 12 people and wounded 59 because he used firearms. What a lot of people don't realize is he booby-trapped his apartment and in his apartment, he had 30 homemade grenades and 10 gallons of gasoline spread around the apartment. He was expecting the police to go in because of a lot of music and blow up the entire apartment complex and up his body count big time. Well, if he had not had access to guns and decided to take those grenades and that gasoline and go and use it in the theater, he might have killed everyone in that theater. Because again, the explosives and the gasoline and the fire would have taken out a lot more than just 12 people if he had planted and been able to detonate them properly. Uh, Columbine. Columbine. 13 students killed in Columbine and the guys took their own lives. 
A lot of people don't know that that was plan B. The Columbine killers, the two boys, had planted uh, propane tanks that you put on uh, gas grills and had set them with homemade pipe bombs and explosive detonators on timers in the lunchroom. They put them in places where they were hidden, where they hoped when they exploded, not only would they kill most everyone in the lunchroom, but it would also cave in the second story of the school and crush a lot of the people in the lunchroom too. Unfortunately for them, and fortunately for the people in the school, those bombs didn't go off. Their detonators really sucked and they didn't test them properly. So again, the bombs didn't detonate, uh, school didn't explode, so what did they do? They rolled in and started shooting up the place and throwing pipe bombs from their pockets at people. So again, plan A for the Columbine would have killed hundreds. Plan B only resulted in 13 deaths. So again, another case where mass shooting uh, was better than the alternative in that particular situation, as it is usually in all situations. Uh, uh, again, I, something I found out just a, a, a week ago was if you get shot by a uh, someone with a handgun, you have a 6 out of 7 percent chance, uh, 6 out of 7 chance of surviving that if EMT can get to you. So again, uh, that's the average survival rate of people shot by handguns in the United States is 6 out of 7. That was from a medical video that I watched done at a medical conference. So uh, uh, you can go and try to look that up or I'll try to remember to link it. So uh, yeah, again, the Dark Knight shooter got 12. If he had used fire and explosives, he probably could have taken out most everyone in the theater. Thank God he didn't think of doing that. Uh, all right, so uh, another place, uh, Israel has a lot of problem with suicide bombers. And Afghanistan, because our men carry assault rifles and real assault rifles and machine guns, uh, and they wear full body armor, they use suicide bombers because our guys are so well armed. They can't take them on one-on-one. -on -one. They can't shoot a shot at them and expect to, to have any real effect because of our body armor. So what do they do? They explode, you know, they blow themselves up. Uh, and personally, I would rather take on an active shooter than uh, a mad bomber any day of the week because the active shooter, uh, I have a chance against. The mad bomber, I won't even know he's there till it's all over with. Uh, and you might ask why I made this video. The reason I made this video is not because I think it'll stop people from trying to get gun control. That would be silly. They're not going to listen to this video. They're not going to listen to me. They're going to continue with gun control. The reason I made this video is so that when they succeed in doing gun control and people start ex blowing themselves up and other people and getting much higher death counts, I can refer them to this video and say, you see, I predicted what would happen and other experts will predict what happened and you ignored that and went ahead with gun control because you thought it would make you safer, but yet it hasn't. And then those people will look at this video and they'll go completely into denial, they'll admit that, that they'll come up with all sorts of excuses but it's simply because they cannot fathom evil in the human heart and what evil can do. They have to try to blame something. Not the person, they try to, not evil, not an evil person, they try to blame something because the truth of evil is too hard for them to face. Uh, again, they're defended by police, military, uh, other individuals that defend them. They truly are around evil, they see evil, they understand bad people and they understand how to deal with them, but the vast majority of our society, 95 plus percent of them, are again, uh, they're the sheep, they're the sheeple, they're the people who believe uh, in peace, good, and love on earth and their fellow man, and admitting that evil exists in their world is something that they cannot bring themselves to do. Uh, it's something that when they see it on TV, they must rebel against. And this is normal human behavior. I'm not faulting them one bit. They're being what they are. They're being who they are. But again, nobody's listening to the experts, the people who really know about these bad people and can say, this is what will fix this problem. So again, I think gun control is going to go through in my lifetime, if not very soon, in fact, with the pushes they're going for. And I think as soon as the gun control goes through, the whack jobs are going to go to plan B, going to drive down to Home Depot, going to spend about you know, a good half day on the internet, and they're gonna start building themselves some bombs, and they're gonna start taking out a lot more people with a few things from Home Depot and some household stuff. So, uh, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, I hope it didn't scare you too much, but again, uh, let's hope that, that gun control doesn't happen, 
that uh, more uh, sheep dogs uh, are concealed carrying and that more of these events that happen are stopped by the concealed carriers and by the off-duty police and by the on-duty police. And, uh, you know, like I said, evil men will only be stopped by the diligence and steadfastness of good men against them. Thanks.